What's up guys? It's Wednesday afternoon and I have like 30 minutes before an appointment. So there's some apartment complexes nearby and I'm gonna check the dumpsters and see what I can find. I reuse these bags for shipping. So that's not super exciting, but I'm gonna take that. That's like a nice pillow thing. This is the type of thing that somebody might pay five or ten dollars for on Facebook Marketplace. It's not a ton, but every little bit counts. So you can use dumpster diving however you want to use it. But what I do is I pretty much take everything that I think will make any type of money online. It makes me a little bit of money and it saves that item from going to the landfill when it's a perfectly good piece that could easily be used in somebody's house. So if you only want to take more expensive items or you want to set a price, like I'm only going to take items I think I could get $20 or more for, you can do it however you want to do it. This is just the way that I do it because a big part of the reason why I love dumpster diving is because you are rescuing things from just ending up in this big pile of trash. That's one of the important things for me is making sure that I'm proactively seeking opportunities to remove things from the landfill and provide them with a kind of like a second chance on life if a pillow can have a life. I'm back. Changed clothes, put my hair up, Ready to dumpster dive. Ooh. I wonder if these don't have a match. It doesn't look like any of them have a... Oh, wait. There's a match for those two. I haven't found the other set of shoes yet, but I found this bag of clothes. See if those have a pair in here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Those are pretty nice. Kid jeans. Um these look pretty dirty. Let's see. I won't take those. Is that really a Nike bag? I've never seen one like that before. Uh, there's a big stain on the inside. But I'm going to wash it and see. Alright, I'm at the same spot still. I found another big bag and it has like all these um, craft supplies in it. So I'm taking all of the ones that look like anything. They're probably just gonna end up getting donated to scrap better than them going to the landfill. Here's a tiny little picture. I don't know what this is. Still wrapped. This is Colorado ruler. Uh, 
Oh yeah, a Jesus air freshener. Okay, and then it looks like this is just, the rest of this is clothes. You can put it in here. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Good. I did get all these reusable bags, some stuff to donate to scrap, and then this, which needs a top for the hanger, but that'll help me display like my clothes better. So that's cool. I really would love to find a mannequin. Would be awesome one day to find. <sighs> all right, well, it's all back. A little dog bed. Ooh, all right, we got lots of clothes. So I'm gonna open this up. So the top bags, I'm just gonna pull them out for now so I can look easier. But if you ever do that, definitely always put them back. What is this? It says Tech Bean on it. Let's see. Oh, it's like a um, electrical, a drying hairbrush or something maybe. That looks fancy. That's pretty. It's got all its pieces. Someone would definitely buy that. So that'll come with me. Ooh, I almost dropped my phone in the dumpster. An Adidas tank top. Those have really good resale value. Seriously soft. I don't know the I don't know if that's the brand or what, but so I found another sweater. Um, a nuke me or new me curling iron. I did get a hair dryer out of the dumpster once and it actually caught on fire when I tried to use it. So I'm gonna be careful testing these. Some mattresses. One, one boot. Oh, there's the other boot. Those are pretty nice too. I don't see a brand on them anywhere, but they're cute. So I really never go to it cause I have to like walk. So I'm walking over to it right now cause I see a shoe. So maybe there's a second shoe. <laughs> Right, we got Wrangler high-waisted cut-off shorts, very cute, and one Nike shoe and some uh, thing that's empty. So probably just go ahead and throw that in there. And now I'll go over to this one. Yeah. The mattresses are covering all of it. That's all right. Um, okay, let's see. Forever 21. Those are in great condition. So, cool, all right. Heading back. Yes! Please keep putting them in the donation boxes. Don't throw them away. All right, lots of clothes. Or maybe these are blankets. That's a blanket. This is a shirt. All right, so I'm about to be done because I have to go pick Alex up from work, but I'm gonna try a few more before and see if I can find anything else. Well, that's just someone's whole pantry. 
is beer bad if it looks like that? Can y'all see on that? I'm gonna take it anyways though. It smells like a petting zoo in here. Mm, it's probably that whole box of kitty litter. Avoid the food. Ooh. All right, that's nice. That's great. Got another beer. Yeah. Oh, that's root beer. Right. Y'all, I've just gotten to the point where I don't really care if people are driving by. I feel like I've run into so many people today. So it's kind of just gotten to be like, whatever. All right, I'm calling it done on this one. Beer and lotion. So I'm home, I am showered, I feel a lot better, and I have it all laid out behind me. So I'll show you everything all together. So here is everything. We've got a lot of clothes. These are the uh, jeans and athletic gear, a lot of Adidas and Nike stuff. These are all the tops. So some of these are really cute. And then this one on right here is Victoria's Secret and it's a sweatshirt. So that one's really cute. That'll sell well. These are the curling iron products. This is a wand um, that's actually selling the exact same one as selling at Ulta right now for $110. And I tested both of these and they work great. So this one I'm really excited about. This straightener brush is like only 30 bucks. So, um, and that's new. So, but still it's in really good condition. I'll definitely get something for it. A belt, a uh, Kenneth Cole tie, um, a Nike lanyard, some blush right there, the Jesus air freshener. This is a 50th birthday, like happy birthday banner. Um, some craft stuff for scrap. So the beads and the craft glue. This is what was in the bag that was brand new. It's a incense. So it's strawberry scented incense charcoal. Some cast iron hat or coat hooks and three pairs of shoes. And then this new uh, lotion kit. Oh, and this retro, like, um, I really like this thing. I guess it's like a, maybe a CD holder. So that thing's really cool. There's the dream catcher, the pillow, and then two sorority reusable sparkly mugs. Oh, this watch, it ended up only being like a $30 watch. Um, but that's fine. It still will resell and it's stainless steel. So that's pretty cool. I'm excited about that one. And this Columbia fleece right here. Columbia, I haven't looked it up yet, but I know that's like a expensive brand. So that one is really cool. This is all the sweaters that I found. Overall, pretty good haul. Maybe not the most expensive of stuff, but like I said earlier, it's saving all of this from the landfill and it is making me money. So I'm really excited about this haul today. So there you have it, everything we found today. And I hope you all enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.